Right, let's see if the phone... Oh yes, the phone is ringing! It's time for some more Marty Chunks mission! Oh, thank you for the follow! Oh, the wife! The business is gonna go under unless I get a hold of some serious cash soon. My wife has an insurance policy and all she's ever been to me is a hole in my pocket. I've left the car in the usual place. Go and pick up my wife from Classic Nails and bring her back to the factory. Ah, you see my nagging wife, she cost me so much money, what a plague, Wah. She's like the seven sins all at once, what is this? It's like, maybe if you bought less cars and everything, maybe your business wouldn't go under. Have you ever thought that you are really bad with money? At this point, I don't think it's insurance fraud. It's just overall irresponsibility. I'm Fernando Martinez. The perfect manicure. You see, I gotta do this fast because I I gotta get my hair done. Wow! Just like I don't know, I feel like this game is treading on too many stereotypes at once, right? Alright, so let's take bets. How is Marty Chunks going to deal with his uh, wife problem? dump this one car in this scene now just like every single time he cannot make up his mind as to how he should get rid of the car all right so i guess it's time to find ourselves a peer oh yeah also i love the fences in this game it's just like you gotta bang through one of them in order to just make everything collapse i guess Right, come on. Ah, no. Uh, fuck, I'm stuck in a fence. Hell. Ah, there we go. Okay, now let's dump the car, but we shouldn't, hopefully, not, you know. Uh, ah, fuck. Right, come on. Dump the. No! Ah! I cannot push this freaking car. Ah! No! <laughs> Fuck! Oh well, I guess I will get rid of the evidence! All the evidence! <laughs> oh well, it's not as if I needed any of my inventory right now. Yeah, mission pass! You will only be arrested if you have a wanted logo. Oh yeah, that's right. Somehow we didn't get a single one of these things yet. Now he's getting ch chased because they're keeping this cozy bitches in his backyard or whatever he's saying. Also, thank you for the follow. Also at three stars, you do not get the SWAT van, therefore this tutorial is inadequate. Yeah, at least I got the money to pay for my medical bills. That's like the one silver lining. Ah, fortunately. Oh, okay, somehow I, 
I did not get any kind of reaction from trying to hijack. Uh, oh, all right. I better step on quick. What the fuck? There was like three cops around the area. None of them cared that I stole the car. Alright, I'm pretty sure the other mission is not gonna be available because uh, it is late and somehow they thought that locking missions between hours was a good idea. So, alright, let's go over there, I guess. Yeah, three stars is roadblocks and choppers and ring phones. For some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something, I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. All right. And with this phone call, we are all pepped up and ready to go. Alright, let's go on some family adventures with our Patriot! Oh yeah, that lady got nailed! We're still at the point of the game where guns are free, so let's actually, well, you know, take advantage of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, in this game, there was a train. Remember that you could ride trains in GTA 1? Yeah, you can ride trains in GTA 3 too, and as far as I know, this has no purpose whatsoever. Alright, it's now time to meet the Spank Man. Punk noodles. Uh. All right, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you could also get a train in San Andreas. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, money, my problem. Oh, all right, it's the wee hours of the morning. His Marky Chunk's awake. Ah, oh, he's not. This is killing my boss right now. Now, we murdered that drug because he was trafficking drugs. All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail, and take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Perfect car in order to take on a van uh, takedown right now. The station wagon from hell! <laughs> We're gonna ram this freaking uh, van off the road so hard they'll never know what hit it. Oh, okay, or maybe not. I mean. Uh... Oh, alright. Let's take a nondescript van instead. And I see we've finally found the hip hop station. Also, they're telling you that the van will not be doing its rounds forever, but as far as I know, you just have it. Oh, 
Oh, right, we got the security guards. Uh, no! Fucking cops! What the hell? That's a way in order to prevent the bank robbery, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? Aha, now I'm about to get the car. Not on my watch, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is why I like the early uh, 3D GTA game, because they're unpredictable. Sometimes you can do a mission really well and everything, but you might just end up losing it because of some <laughs> really weird uh, circumstances like that. Also, thank you for the follow. Uh-oh. Oh, alright, I see a police bribe on top of the building, but... Uh, oh my god, right? Don't mind me, don't mind me, I don't exist! Stay down. Oh, alright, perfect time in order to... Uh, ah, no, fuck! This is absolutely not a perfect time, I was... Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's not over! It's... it's yes, it's... yes, it's... yes! All right. Uh, oh no! <laughs> here on Mood Swings Radio, we're here in order to have not a fucking clue about what we're doing. Yeah, isn't there like a police bribe in front of the police station? It's just like I feel like I have to remember where the police bribes are. Otherwise, I need to switch cars in order to be able to respring it. To respring it. Alright, perfect! Alright, nope! I'm sorry, but I'm gonna move all my muscles! I'm sorry, but you're not capturing me that easily! Oh boy. Ah! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I'm kind of in a pickle right now. Or maybe not, I barely escaped. These cunning cops, they thought they had the drop on me, but who has the last laugh? <laughs> Alright. Now our crime spree can begin again. Also, thank you for the follow. Either way, it's time to get news from our favorite friend! Yes! The phone is ringing! Her lover. Damn, I'm in trouble. Turns out my wife was seeing some guy I owe money to. He's got real angry, and he's looking for payback. I've agreed to see him. He thinks I'm gonna pay him off. But my guess is Liberty's dogs are gonna get yet another flavor this month. <laughs> so yeah, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, say hello to excellent uh, blue- Ah, Jesus Christ, I cannot see the thing because my window is far too uh, scaled back on another uh, screen altogether, so... Okay, there we go, I think that should do it. You looking fine, girl. Oh, you're looking fine. Yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me thrice. I don't know. Fool me four twice. But yeah, considering that they still got win, that you know the wife got killed and everything by the guy. Yeah, this guy really sucks at concealing evidence. But to be fair, I'm pretty sure I must have made the headlines whenever I was seen falling in the ocean with it with my car. Show that creep the meaning of the word business with trance music. Shake, 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 shake. Uh 
All right, so now... Uh, wait. Carl, uh, hi. Uh, I, uh, I need more time to get your money. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. All's well that ends well. It's like it's kind of fucked up that this is like an happy ending for this situation because yeah, that guy kind of had it coming. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. Again. But this time, don't let the cops beat you to the punch, because you know they are surely the best car thieves. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why he failed. That's because he decided to step out of his office. Oh, thank you for the follow. I give the passion back. My people, we think this is just very personal. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Hooker and my daughter. I'm 62 what years old, damn it! Man? Which exotic location do you come from? I am... Uh, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in... Nah, I need a better car than this, come on. Where can I find a van? I find a van. Uh, nope. Get back here with your frozen fish products! Uh, oh fuck. I stole it right in front of a cop. Oh well. Right. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world! Get off! Get lost! You're just a cheap pimp from upstate! Get out of my studio! I saved you Danny! Thank you for the follow. It's a miracle! <laughs> like a kitten. Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll see. Alright, now it's time to show this van the meaning of the word pay. Okay, or maybe not. That was kind of a And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a love station. Enjoy. Alright, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm no, Laszlo with open ears and closed mind. Hello! So what the hell is that What's voice? I wanted to talk about banking. Always oh, trouble! I think Always trouble! Alright, now don't break my balls, please. I'm not asking much. What's that noise? What's that noise, dude? Oh my god! Also, thank you for the follow! <laughs> Alright, only one tiny push and the van is mine! Yeah. Alright, now please don't push the van away! I'm on scene. There's too much. Well, of course we, you can, we can't hear you. You're on the radio. We're not in the same physical uh, in place. And yeah, Donald Love eventually becomes a. Uh, Mission year. Also, thank you, Will, for the follow. I will follow you. Oh, El Burro wants to offer you an opportunity. Get to the foe. Oh, is that the thing that made me flip out earlier? This little thing. I'm gonna go and guess this is why I ended up dying earlier. So come on, we we obviously have to give this mission another go because we will totally win this time. Also, ah, I want to skip this thing because 
Alright, I guess let's talk over the radio as much as possible. It's like, there's two things that I remember from this mission. One, it was hard as fuck, and two, there were like variants of it which were even worse. Just like, it probably would have been a little easier if, you know, you had the full time limit in one go instead of getting it like by chunks. Just like Martin Chunks, right? Like every single of the checkpoints here are the, at the most precarious thing ever. I'm so glad that missions like these never ended up becoming a norm in the, the Grand Theft Auto series because that is dreadful. Okay, so now, where is the where is the point? I don't see the point! No! Well, I scream no, but it still happened. Uh, ah, no. I call this the Patriot Play. You call this the Patriot Playground? I call this. Insane stun bonus 69 percent uh, Is there anything of value over there? I don't know that kind of seems like the kind of place ripe for secrets right? uh, uh, I don't know I I'm looking at this wiggling animation from the hobos and it's kind of hypnotic like, I don't know, I'm kind of entranced by watching them wiggle. No, that's okay, I'm not stealing this car, don't worry about it. I'm just doing a switcheroo here. There we go. We've sighted a stolen bobcat, yes, totally. My head needed these car honks into the music. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I bet that there. Oh. Any more secure cars you want? Crack. Okay, so I, this is a side mission that I absolutely don't remember. Holy shit! Yeah, just like somehow I ended up getting nothing out of that stunt, and I feel so sad about it. 